I am so excited to tell you about what is in this box. Before I started making YouTube videos, I used to work in coffee. Started as a barista, then managed coffee shops, and eventually I started training as a coffee roaster. In fact, my first job at a coffee house was the same year I got my first tarantula. So I am a big fan of coffee. It's my favorite vice anymore. And I have always found it interesting that the majority of tarantulas can be found living within the coffee belt, or the space around the globe, above and below the equator, where the Arabica plant will grow and produce coffee beans. I've actually mentioned it in multiple videos. An old friend recently started his own coffee roasting business called Good Vibes Coffee, and I have been enjoying his roast for quite a while now. One morning while enjoying a cup, I had an idea for a project that he and I could work on together. Ryan specializes in small batch, single origin, artisan coffee roasting here in West Virginia in the foothills of the Appalachians. The easiest way I know to describe this coffee is by comparison. Let's take Starbucks for an example. Starbucks wants a cup of coffee in Seattle to taste just like that same cup in New York, London, Tokyo, or any of their many locations around the world. There simply isn't a large enough coffee farm in one region to supply all the beans that they would need to roast. So Starbucks buys beans from all around the world and combines them into a blend and roasts them very dark to give that roast a uniform flavor and have enough for all of their stores. While this has obviously been very successful for them, by roasting the beans to such a dark level, it burns out all the subtle flavors and details that make the coffee coming from that region so unique. How and where the plants are grown, the way the beans are harvested, dried, and packaged all have effects on the flavor. At Good Vibes Coffee, they source their beans from a single origin, in this case, Costa Rica, and they roast the beans to a light medium level so they retain all their unique flavor notes. A lighter roast also means a little more naturally occurring caffeine, which is a great thing in the morning. Using his expertly roasted single origin beans, I have launched the Tarantula Origin Series line of coffee. This will feature a specific species of tarantula and an artisan roast of the coffee beans from the region that tarantula is native. The first roast offered will be the zebra knee, highlighting the Afonopelmas samani or Costa Rican zebra knee tarantula, and features a single origin bean from the central valley of Costa Rica, roasted to a medium light with notes of fresh citrus zest and pecan. It is delicious and I've been drinking it every single morning. And to commemorate the launch of this coffee series, I am initially offering the zebra knee roast coffee gift boxes. There are only only 50 of these boxes available. Actually, a few less than that. A couple important people pulled some strings behind the scenes and, and snagged a few before they went on sale. These can only be shipped within the US and they are just in time for Christmas. Each gift box will include a 12 ounce bag of Zebra Knee Roast Coffee, a Tarantula Collective coffee mug that's not sold anywhere else, a slate coaster engraved with the Tarantula Collective logo, a Tarantula Collective enclosure made by Tarantula Cribs, an 8x10 signed photo of a Costa Rican zebra knee tarantula that I took here in the studio, a tarantula collective sticker, other assorted mystery gifts, and the first 20 orders will receive this handmade tarantula collective spider I commissioned from Memories of Violet. If you're not into the whole gift box experience, you will also be able to purchase just a bag of this coffee from the website. It is important to note that this coffee will not be available in my normal merch store, and it cannot be combined with any of those orders. I will have a link in the description of this video as well as the top pinned comment to the website where you can purchase this gift box or individual bags of coffee. Once the Zebra Knee gift box are sold out, there will be no more available, but you will have a chance to grab a different gift box once the next roast is launched. Each new roast will feature a different tarantula species, and the coffee will be roasted from beans that came from that region. So as of the release of this video, the website is live and orders are coming in. And once these gift boxes are sold out, they're gone for good. But the Zebra Knee Roast will remain available as long as Good Vibes can still ethically source the beans from that region. So hurry up and click the link below and get yourself or the tarantula keeping coffee lover in your life this amazing single origin, small batch artisan roast coffee locally roasted here in the Appalachian Mountains of West Virginia. Make sure you're subscribed and following me on Instagram so you don't miss out when the new Tarantula Series roasts launch in the near future.